Homework 10, I am creating a traffic light controller. The two modifications that I'll be making would be to modify the traffic light so that it counts the number of cars that trigger the sensors and modify the light, the traffic light so that it stays green for a specific amount of time in the east-west direction when triggered. For my state diagram, at state zero, I have reset coming in. So anytime reset is on, it will come back to state zero. And when for car EW stands for car east west, so that's the sensor. So as long as the sensor is zero, it will stay in state zero. My outputs here is um, north south would be green and east west would be red. And for my control is a C O N T R is zero zero. So basically my um first my least significant bit is the lines that control the counter. So when it's zero the counters um it doesn't enable the count or the timer uh, or the counter and my most significant bit enables the timer. Um so when the sensor is a one it goes to state one. And in state one, my traffic lights for north-south is yellow, and east-west is still red. Um, the control is zero, one, so the least significant bit is a one. Therefore, it will increment the, um, the count for the number of cars that trigger the sensors. Uh, then to go to state two, it doesn't matter what the sensor is at this point because traffic lights will go through the motion, so it can either be a one or a zero. So in state two is when both my lights are zero, so no cars are moving, they're all stopped. <clears throat> and the control is zero, zero. So we, the reason why for the least significant bit is a zero is because we only want the counter to increment once, detecting a car that triggers the sensor. And so to go to state three, um, at state three, the traffic lights for north-south is red and east-west is now green. And the control is one zero. So the most significant bit is a one. Therefore, the timer will begin incrementing. And we have the length of time that the light for east-west to remain green is about is three uh, seconds. So here we have timer is less than or equal to three. So until it hits three, it'll continue to stay in the state. Um, oh, actually, I need to change this. So when timer is greater than three, it'll move to state four. And at state four, now the light for east-west will change from green to yellow. And the control is now zero, zero. So the most significant bit changed from a one to a zero, therefore resetting the timer. And here, um, to go to state four to state five, both lights are now red, no cars are moving, and the control is still zero, zero. So then after that, it'll go straight to back to state zero for north, south to now turn green. Uh, if you look at our code for the finite state machine, um, I guess I should mention as well too that the state machine that the state diagram that I drew is a is a more uh, machine. Um, for the so for the code, um, my inputs for my FSM is clock and reset. I have a signal for a sensor. Um, it's one of my inputs. Timer is also an input. This timer value comes from the counter. Um, and there's the control, which uh, is two bits. Um, yeah, it's two bits wide. Um, also, the timer I cre I made it to be uh, three bits uh, because since the maximum, even though the maximum amount of time for my counter is three, for it to stay green, uh, I want to be able to simulate to show that. If it's greater than three, it will begin. It will move to the next state. Um, and T lights is are my traffic light outputs. There are six bits because 
uh, both traffic lights and uh, like north south, uh, north south and south to north lights were mirror each other, as well as the east west and west to east lights were mirror each other. So that's the reason why it's six bits. Uh, my signal here in my architecture, uh, CS and NS, um, they are three bits uh, because the state goes from zero to state five. Uh, and CS stands for current state and NS stands for next state. So in this process block is, um, is basically updating the current state. So when reset is one, uh, the current state will go to zero, state zero. And or if reset is zero, it will follow the rising edge of the clock. So the current state will be whatever the next state is. Uh, this next process block is detecting the current state sensor and timer. So those are the inputs that are coming in to the finite state machine and that will dictate this change. Uh, the current state, we create a case statement for the current state. Um, so at state zero, if the sensor is a one, that will go to state one, or else it will stay in state zero. So we have next state is equal to current state, because the current state is already at state zero. It will just keep looping back itself around. Uh, the lights here, the output for T lights is zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. Um, if it is north, south, green, east, west is red. Um, and the control is zero, zero. So the increment is zero and the timer is zero. So therefore the timer is uh, resetted to zero, 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 zero. Uh, state one, um, the next state will be state two. I don't have an if statement here because with traffic lights, they'll go through the motion regardless of the inputs from the sensor. Um, T lights is zero one zero one zero zero which means that north south is now yellow and east west is red the counter is zero one so the least significant bit is a one therefore the counter will increment and will count the number of cars that trigger the sensor uh, and timer is zero so it's still in reset mode um, at state two the next state will be state three and T lights is one zero zero one zero zero. So both lights are now red. Uh, no vehicles are moving. And control is zero zero. And the increment, which means the increment is now zero, and timer is zero zero. So increment is zero, which means that the counter has stopped counting. It doesn't reset the counter or anything since we want to keep track of how many cars. Uh, trigger the sensors <clears throat> and when it triggers the sensors that that's when the lights begin to change f from red from green for north south to yellow north south in order for east west to turn green uh, the next state here for state two to so for state two we go to state three. So here is a, we have an if statement for our timer, and we said that when timer is equal to zero one one, so when timer equals to three, then it will go to state four because we because I set the um, the maximum amount of time for the timer to remain in state three is uh, three second is three seconds. And as long and when it hasn't reached three seconds yet, it will remain in in state three. And for this line here, next state is equal to current state because the current state is state three. Um, the output currently here at state three is one zero 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 one, which means that north south is red, east west is green, and control is one zero. Uh, increment is zero and the timer is now a one. This one for the most significant bit is um, turning the timer, allowing it to increment um, each clock cycle. So once it has reached three, so once the timer has reached three, has reached three, it'll go to state four. And from state four, the output is one, 
zero 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 one zero. Uh, north south is red, east west is uh, yellow. The next state will be state five, and the control is now zero zero, and it resets the timer to back from. It will reset the timer to zero zero zero. And at state five, our next state is state zero zero zero, and T lights is. One zero zero one zero zero, which means that both north south is red as well as east west is also red, and the control is zero zero. So our my when others case is um, next state equals to current state is because that if there's an invalid case uh, or invalid inputs, we want it to be able to remain in the state in which those inputs occur rather than go straight to uh, state zero, zero, zero. Because if it's, if, um, for instance, if something happens in state uh, one, for instance, when the north-south lights is yellow and east-west is, is still red, cars will still be moving, but however, to go from yellow to green, it will probably confuse the drivers that it just automatically changed from yellow to green if there was an invalid case rather than going through the motion from green, yellow to red. So we want to be able to avoid any, um, any accidents on the road. Form for the finite state machine. Here um, I res did a reset as one to reset the system. And I've also made sensor is zero, timer is zero, um, and therefore everything else is set to zero. So in the next clock cycle, I've made reset, a force reset to zero, and I kept the other inputs the same. Um, at, as you can see here, that the current state is at state zero. The next state is also zero because the sensor is zero. And we can see it in this next clock cycle that it still remains to be in state zero. And the output here at state zero is zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, which means that north, south is green and east, west is red. So when we force sensor to be one, um, to be one, here, um, from state zero, to, we are still in state zero, and we've made sensor to be one. Um, you see the lights are still north, south is green, and east, west is red. And because sensor is now one, it's going to wait for the next clock cycle to update to state one. And you can see here, it's, it's already waiting. Um, in the next, at this, clock cycle here, um, let's see, let me get a little bit clear, here, uh, it's currently now in state, in state one, um, and the output for T lights is, uh, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, so north, south is now yellow, and east, west is still red, and you can see here that the output for the control is also uh, zero one, so which means that if it was sent to the counter, the um, the counter will begin incrementing because the sensor is now um, triggering it to increment. And the next state will be state two. As um, here, at state two, the control is now zero zero. Um, which means that the counter has it stops incrementing, and T lights is one zero zero one zero zero, so both lights are now red, and the current state is state two, as you can see here, and the next state that's waiting as for the next clock cycle is state three. Um, in state three, we have now state three. The timer is now enabled. And our T lights is one zero 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 one. So now north south is now red, and east west is now green. Um, it, the current state is three here. 
and as well as is the next state remains three because the timer is still zero zero zero. So it will begin to increment at the next state, which we had to force the value since we are only implementing just a finite state machine. Um, so we force the value of the timer to be zero zero one. Um, control is still one zero, so it's still enabling the timer. Um, T lights is east for T lights. North south is still red, and east west is still is still green. The next state and the current state is is state three, and the next state is still state three. Um, at the next clock cycle, we're still in state three. Um, the timer now is two. It's still less than and equal to three, and the green light is still on for east west. Here, when the timer is now three. Uh, we are still in state three, and east west is still green, and control is still um, one zero. So the most significant bit is a one, and the counter is still enabled. And if we can see here, what's waiting in the queue is uh, for the next state is state four, because now that we've reached our condition to where timer is less than or equal to three, when the timer is now four in state in the next in the next clock cycle it's we're now in state four and now the lights for east west has changed it's now changing from green to yellow and here we have also the control is the output for the control is also zero zero the most significant bit for that enables the timer is zero therefore the timer is reset is reset it to zero zero as we can see in this next state in state five um, the lights for uh, the traffic lights is one zero zero one zero zero, which basically means that both traffic lights are now red, and we are going to go from the, from state five to back to state zero, and the timer is now reset it to zero. And here we are now back to state zero where. North south is now green and east west is now is uh, remain to be red, and that is it.